What's going on everybody? It's your boy Don back with another video. Um today I wanted to address the Damian Lillard situation and some people are on the edge of their seat because a lot of people are believing that you know Damian Lillard has a really good chance of coming to the Knicks. I think it's not as close as people say it is. Um I want to give you my thoughts on this specifically. Um this is my second video today. Uh, make sure the Trey Man video by now probably should be up already. Make sure you check out that video on Trey Man. He's the guy that I want us to draft at this moment in time. Uh, he's the guard from Florida um, for many, many reasons, uh, besides it being financially smarter for the Knicks. Uh, I think this is the way you look at the Damian Lillard situation, right? And and hear me out. So I'm looking at Clutch Points. Clutch Points points out that the Knicks are trying to trade for Lillard, most likely. If they do, um, we're, we're, we're likely to include three first-round picks for Damian Lillard and then send RJ his way that way too. Here's why I think that's not a good idea, to tell you the truth. Because think about it this way. At this point, who we are as a team, a whole bunch of one-year guys, Julius Randle, some good youth in OB and quickly, you know, a, a good uh, backup guard. In, in Derrick Rose, don't know if he stays. Um, maybe some potential with Mitchell Robinson. And we finished fourth this past season. If you send RJ the other way to Portland, you send them the three first round picks, and then we get Damian Lillard, does that really make us that much closer to a championship than we are now? No. So that to me already tells me that this probably isn't the move for us to make, even though on paper it looks nice. Now you have a really, really uh, all-star point guard in Daniel Lillard. Now, the problem is this. Who is going to be the guy at the two, right? We have Julius Randle, but what is he? He's like the four, right? So you, that means you need a three, a, a, a scoring three. And where are we going to get that from? Where are we going to get that from? And now we're talking money-wise because there's no way Bradley Beal and, and Daniel Lillard can come in the same time. No. So now you got to understand and say, okay, if this is an all-in type of move, how do we win a championship? And I think that needs to be the long-term approach of the front office. Yeah, you you can you can have Damian Lillard come here. I can see I can see uh, RJ being traded. Inconsistent guy who's very talented. Is he going to be a very good player in the league? I think so. Eventually, he will be. But he, he's gonna he's very attractive trade bait. He's very attractive trade bait. And my problem with it is, is that, unfortunately, as much as Damian Lillard sounds nice, I don't think it makes us that much closer to a championship. If And if that's not the case, then what are we doing here? We're going to mortgage mostly our future. I think the first-round picks are even more important than just R.J. Barrett because you can literally get a really nice guard this draft and then still have another first-round draft pick in the same draft, go after a three or even, not even that, wait until next offseason and see what you can get from those free agents. That's what I was telling you guys a, a couple of videos ago. You got to think about what we're doing here, man. I, I think, seriously, the, there's better options than me, than me, than us just going all in on Damian Lillard. You know, I think Damian Lillard and Bradley, even Bradley Beal, I think Bradley Beal would probably be a better option. But then again, the Wizards are going to want a lot more than just those three first-round draft picks on Arjun Barrett. You know what I'm saying? But if you do get one of the two between Lillard and Bradley Beal, just know this. Financially, we're going to throw away a lot of money instantly. And in this league, I don't know if you noticed, but the whole league is changing where the teams that, that we thought were strong aren't that strong anymore. The Lakers aren't that strong anymore. It's a talk. Anybody can win a championship right now from the Eastern Conference side. The Milwaukee Bucks are not the most solid team, but I they look like they're about to beat a hurt Atlanta Hawks team, but we don't know. Atlanta Hawks are also a team that can be beat. I personally thought that we could have played better against the Hawks, and that will be another video. Um, Philadelphia 76ers are not a lock. They need a better point guard. You know what I'm saying? The East is there to be won, guys. The East is there to be won. But I guarantee you, we're going to waste a lot of money on a Damian Lillard when we could have built young. 
and have a really good young team that's inexpensive. And why is that important? Because if you have an inexpensive young team, you might have three, two more shots at getting to the finals than you do going all in one year. Look at the Brooklyn Nets. They went all in and none of the guys were healthy. Maybe next year, out of the three stars that are there, they'll probably go They'll go at it one more time. If they're healthy, nobody's... Th- Whoa, I almost dropped my laptop. If they're healthy... If they're healthy, nobody's stopping the Brooklyn Nets. But as you can see in the playoffs, it doesn't work like that. I'm telling you guys, we got a good three in there. Draft a three that can score and defend. Get a good point guard in here and maybe sign a free agent or two and then cut the rest. You have a team that can be a top three team in the East for many, many years. As well as developing the guys that we have here already. The New York Knicks can go to... Look what happened to the Atlanta Hawks. It's not an accident the Atlanta Hawks are where they are. They did it the right way. I'm telling you, going all in on Damian Lillard, it makes no sense. Because it doesn't make us any closer to a championship now than what we are now, believe it or not. And we only have Julius Randle, uh, a couple of one-year contract guys, Derek Rose, good talent, Obi Toppin, and, and Emmanuel Quickly. You know, and still, we can get better. Don't don't just don't just throw away for a big star name, man. That's that's what I'm gonna tell you guys. Even if it is it's attractive to send RJ Barrett the other way, but I think that RJ Barrett is gonna be even better still. Get a point guard in there. A guy like Trey Mann is something that the New York Knicks definitely need, man. I think draft draft a Trey Mann and then see what you got now. Get 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 a free agent in here, you know, that can help us at the three. Uh, a guy like uh, Norman Powell. Man, I'm telling you guys, we're going to make so many moves with these first-round draft picks. But I, trading for Damian Lillard, for me, is not one of them right now. Um, and that's what I got to say about that. Uh, I'll make a video on Alonzo Ball maybe another day. I got more videos coming on the way. I'm making videos every day. Let me know what you think in the comment section, man. I'm telling you. Um, there's also news for, uh, maybe Chris Paul. I don't want Chris Paul. Even if he wins the NBA championship, he's going to be too expensive. You know, Chris Paul, anything, anything Chris Paul, I I don't really want to hear it, to be honest with you. Colin Sexton is a name that's interesting, but then again, you can draft a guy that's basically the same of what he is this year. You know what I'm saying? We'll see, man. Maybe a Terry Rozier. These are all guards, I'm telling you. We don't need that many guards. I, we can draft a guard right now and be done with it. And not have to pay him a ridiculous amount of money like we would have to pay Alonzo. Alonzo is is nice, but he ain't. He, Alonzo Ball is not a guy that's going to get you a championship. Alonzo Ball is a good player, though. He, but if you're talking free agents, he'd be my number one priority. But I'm, I'm telling you, we, we're better off drafting. We're better off drafting a guard and then getting a free agent at the three position. And then maybe seeing if we can get a better center and work with that. And then see next year's free agency and see who we can add. I guarantee you that's three years, three, three, three and a half years from now, we, we can make it to the, the Eastern Conference Final at least. And then see if we can make it to the championship. That's your boy Don talking, man. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Like, comment, subscribe, if you enjoy these videos. I'm telling you, man, more videos on the way every day. It's your boy Don for now. I'll see y'all next time, man. Peace, I'm out.